That is one of Europe's busiest airports. That's Frankfurt International Airport. And that right there is a Caterpillar 395. And in this video, we're gonna show you what they're doing to bring tens of millions more people through this airport every single year. Got it. Really nice. Welcome to Frankfurt International Airport, one of the world's largest airports. And like all of the world's large airports, this one is also growing fast. The multi-billion dollar Terminal 3 project is the airport's answer to keep up with demand. It'll add an additional 25 million passengers to the airport's capacity. With such a large new terminal, much of the surrounding infrastructure needs to be updated, the most important of which is the surrounding taxiways. Frankfurt has four made runways, where the world's biggest aircraft take off and land all hours of the day. To connect these to the new terminal, the existing taxiways must go to make way for new taxiways to match the new terminal elevation. And that's where we pick up today's story. Thanks to Zeppelin Cat and contractor Peter Kolb, we're going to check out what it takes to demolish airport taxiways. So with that, let's get out to site. To get planes from the landing area to the new terminal, they have to replace this taxiway. This taxiway is good concrete. The problem is the elevation is a little bit different. So that new terminal is up here, but the concrete is down here and planes need very, very gradual grades to get to different places. So they're removing all of this concrete to then build it up a little bit more and then they'll replace all of this concrete so that planes can roll off that area and roll right up to Terminal 3 without any issues. And here's your visual representation of the change in elevation. This is the existing concrete that we're removing. And then the new concrete comes up to about here on the other side of this berm. I don't want to go on this other side of the berm because I don't want to get in trouble with the police, but it's about here. So that is a significant difference, significant change in elevation. That's why this entire project exists. This is the existing concrete. It's about 35 centimeters thick. There's no reinforcing steel in here. It's just concrete. The first step to removal is hammering. This is the tool for the job to break up all of this concrete. We've got 100,000 cubic meters of concrete we've got to get rid of. So we need big tools to get it out of here as quickly as possible. This is an Atlas Copco hydraulic hammer. You can see the bit is flat on the bottom to make better contact with the concrete. It doesn't take too much. You just got to hit it a few times and it breaks apart. There, every few feet, they're hitting it with the hammer in a pattern. And then all of this now is broken up and ready to be excavated. Now, what runs this? That's a great question. Let's go check out the machine behind it. The machine running a hammer that big has to be pretty enormous, and it is. It is a Caterpillar 395 from Zeppelin, a monster machine. And then that machine is also equipped with oil quick, so he can take that hammer off without touching any hoses, and in just minutes, put that down and grab the bucket for the next step. And here's phase two. This is where it gets real sexy when it comes to a footage standpoint the demolition part. Now that is quite the bucket. This bucket is really nice and skinny, really built up, extremely heavy duty, and then also has those two little fins on the back to help with prying. So he's using those three teeth to get underneath the slab and then using those fins to pry them up. This is a big machine, but you can tell even with this big machine, these enormous chunks of concrete are pretty heavy for it and it's getting a little light, but he's starting to stack them up now. I don't know what he's doing right now, actually.
collection? Yeah, I have a rock collection from all over the world. I was interrupted a little earlier. He grabbed the hammer again, and now he's breaking up these bigger pieces that he just pulled out of there with the bucket. So it's a little bit more manageable and so that all of this can then be loaded into on-road trucks for transport. It's worth noting as well, right there is an active taxiway. And because this is a big international airport and a big cargo airport, there are massive aircraft going by us every few minutes. And I'm like a kid in a candy store. We had 747 come by here. That's a 787 that just rolled by. There's another 787 out there. This is just awesome. The 395 is doing the heavy lifting, but the 340 is doing a majority of the work here. We've got it broken up. We've got some area cleared away to start a little bit of a, a gap in the pavement. The 395 has put that over there, broken it all up, and now the 340 can come in here and start clearing out all of the concrete as we go. So we're peeling out uh, a nice big area here, and then we're piling it to the side all of this will then be loaded into on-road trucks and it'll be hauled to the recycling area. Real quickly before another 747 comes in, I wanna watch it. We've got another 340 here loading these on-road trucks. These trucks are hauling to a nearby crushing plant. And I guess speaking of crushing plant, before we go check out the earthwork, let's go see the crushing plant. The crushing operation. We've got a 336 loading a mobile crusher so they can move this crusher here for this project and then move it to another site after it's done. It crushes the concrete into uh, a single gradation here. It goes onto this telestacker. The telestacker goes over the super secure barbed wire fence where another loader is grabbing it, a 966 XC, and stockpiling it. From here, trucks are picking up this material and bringing it to the other side of the airport where it's being used as road base. And now back to the main program. And here's the earthwork. The concrete is out of the way. Now we are grading everything, recompacting everything, and bringing this material up to the required elevation. I am way higher than the earthworks behind me because this is a stockpile they're keeping material on while they recompact the material and work it back up. But all of this will eventually be regraded recompacted and readied for new concrete uh, in the coming months. So that's what's going on. Take the concrete out, grade it to the proper elevation to match to the new concrete at the new terminal, and then pave it. Planes will be here once again. Ah, bug on my nose. Planes will be here once again. People will be getting to where they need to be. Cargo will be getting to wherever it needs to be. This is an awesome project. Thank you to Peter Kolb for not only being uh, easier to pronounce than the last companies we visited, but for having us out here at their Frankfurt project. And thank you to Zeppelin Caterpillar for arranging this visit. It was spectacular. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next time. Stay dirty. <laughs>